Hey, Beaver River Central Schools, it's Mr. Flood. I, I know, none of you remember me. It's okay. I'm not offended. I, I don't care that you remember me. I care that you remember something I said. I was at your school just about a month ago, and I wanted to come back, guys and girls, with this video for two reasons. Number one is to say thank you for the way that you treated me when I was there. Uh, with respect, you were quiet at the right times. You laughed at the right times. So thank you, thank you, thank you for the way that you treated me. It's always daunting to, no matter how many schools you walk into, it's always daunting to go in and walk, you know, talk to kids. So thank you for the way that you treated me. Um, I felt very welcome for the short time that I was there. And the second reason, and even more importantly than that, guys and girls, the reason for this video is to remind you of the challenges that I gave you when I was there. You know, it was it, three simple things that can have a huge impact on the lives of people around you and your life too. Because I told you, when you do something nice for someone else, you're doing it for you too. So the first challenge I gave you was to... to not judge people by the outside, look on the inside of people, always give people the benefit of the doubt. So important to do that. And in my experience, when I don't go in with a preconceived notion of someone else, they don't judge me. Very rarely will you run into someone who, you know, who judges you quickly, you know, just go in with that attitude, go in with that idea that, that this person is just like me on the inside. How can I find something in common with this person? And the second reason... The second challenge I gave you was to thank two adults in the building, show respect for two adults in the building. You know, you will need trusted people to go through to throughout your life um, uh, to, to bounce things off of and to get some perspective on. Uh, and anytime you can do that, it's so important. The, you, can, you can never have too many go-to people, right? You can never have too many people to go to, you know, and, 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 and uh, get feedback from. Uh, so that you can make a good decision or at least just rid yourself of some of the things that you're carrying when you're struggling with things, have to share them with others. Sharing your problems cuts them in half. Sharing your problems cuts them in half. And then the third challenge, the one that was most important to me is that, you know, just show up and no one eats alone. Look for opportunities when you can include the unincluded on the bus, in the cafeteria, in the hallway, in the classroom, at recess, in a conversation, Anytime, look for, because you would want someone to do that for you. I hope you're all well. I hope you all have a great uh, rest of this school year and holidays, whatever holidays you celebrate over the next several months. I um, hope it's a mild winter up there. Who am I kidding? It probably won't be. Uh, but I love coming upstate New York. It was great being up there, and, uh, and you guys are super important to me. So hope I run into you in a Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, Panera, somewhere in and around New York State or somewhere else. Have a great day, guys and girls.